New Zealand, a land celebrated for its pristine landscapes and unique biodiversity, finds itself at a crossroads, facing a dilemma that many nations encounter in the modern era. The government's recent announcement of 149 fast-track projects aimed at accelerating economic recovery has ignited a firestorm of debate, sparking conversations in every corner of the country. Supporters applaud the bold vision, citing the urgent need for job creation and infrastructure development. They argue that these projects will provide much-needed economic stimulus, creating thousands of jobs and modernizing the nation's infrastructure. Critics, however, decry the move as a dangerous gamble, one that prioritizes short-term gains over the long-term health of the environment. They warn that such rapid development could lead to irreversible damage to ecosystems and loss of biodiversity. This clash of perspectives has divided communities, pitting economic aspirations against the imperative to safeguard New Zealand's natural heritage. Families, friends and neighbours find themselves on opposite sides of the debate, each passionately defending their viewpoint. At the heart of the controversy lies a fundamental question. Can a nation pursue economic growth without compromising the very environment that sustains it? This question resonates deeply, echoing the concerns of many who cherish the natural beauty of their homeland. The answer, as with most complex issues, is far from simple. It requires a delicate balance, a thoughtful approach that considers both the immediate needs and the long-term consequences. It demands careful consideration of the potential benefits and risks a nuanced understanding of the trade-offs involved and a commitment to finding solutions that strike a balance between competing priorities. Policymakers, scientists and citizens alike must work together to navigate this complex landscape. The stakes are high, not just for New Zealand, but for all nations grappling with the challenge of reconciling economic development with environmental stewardship in the 21st century. The decisions made today will shape the world of tomorrow, influencing the legacy we leave for future generations. The New Zealand government's decision to fast-track infrastructure projects stems from a desire to stimulate economic growth and build a resilient future, and address pressing societal needs. Faced with the economic fallout from the global pandemic, policymakers see infrastructure investment as a key driver of recovery, aiming to create a robust economic environment, creating jobs, boosting productivity, and enhancing the nation's competitiveness in the global market. The Fast Track projects encompass a wide range of sectors, from transportation and energy to housing and tourism, ensuring a holistic development approach reflecting a comprehensive approach to modernizing the country's infrastructure and laying the foundation for future prosperity. This initiative is not just about building structures, but about building a sustainable future. Proponents of the government's plan argue that these projects are essential for meeting the demands of a growing population and ensuring a high quality of life for all New Zealanders. They believe that modern infrastructure is the backbone of a thriving society. They point to the urgent need for improved transportation networks to reduce congestion, enhance connectivity and facilitate trade. Efficient transportation is crucial for economic activities and daily life. They emphasize the importance of investing in renewable energy sources to transition to a low carbon economy and address the pressing challenge of climate change. Sustainable energy solutions are vital for the planet's future, and they highlight the potential of these projects to create jobs and opportunities, particularly in rural communities that have long struggled with economic stagnation. These initiatives aim to bring prosperity to every corner of the nation, ensuring no one is left behind. 
While the government touts the economic benefits of its fast-track program, a chorus of critics has emerged, raising serious concerns about the potential environmental consequences. Environmental groups, scientists, and concerned citizens argue that the expedited approval process for these projects undermines the rigorous environmental assessments necessary to mitigate risks and protect New Zealand's unique ecosystems. They fear that the rapid pace of development will lead to habitat loss, fragmentation of wildlife corridors, and increased pollution of rivers, lakes, and coastal waters. Labour's acting environment spokesperson has been particularly vocal in condemning the fast-track legislation, arguing that it silences community voices and removes crucial checks and balances designed to safeguard the environment. Critics contend that the government's push for economic growth comes at the expense of New Zealand's international reputation as a leader in conservation and environmental stewardship. They warn that the long-term costs of environmental degradation, including the loss of biodiversity, the depletion of natural resources, and the impacts of climate change, far outweigh any short-term economic gains. Section 4. Echoes of the Past When Progress Left Scars The debate over the fast-track projects is not merely hypothetical, it is deeply rooted in New Zealand's own history, a history that has seen both triumphs and tribulations. Past experiences with large-scale development projects have left a mixed legacy, with some initiatives delivering significant economic benefits, but often at a considerable environmental cost. These projects have shaped the nation's landscape and economy in profound ways. The expansion of agriculture, for example, has been a cornerstone of New Zealand's economy, driving growth and providing livelihoods. However, it has also led to the clearance of vast areas of native forest, resulting in the degradation of soil quality and the pollution of waterways with agricultural runoff, which has had detrimental effects on aquatic life and water quality. Similarly, the development of hydropower projects, while providing renewable energy and reducing reliance on fossil fuels, has often involved damming rivers and altering natural flows, impacting fish populations and aquatic ecosystems. These past experiences serve as a cautionary tale, reminding us that economic development, if not carefully managed, can have unintended and often irreversible consequences for the environment. The scars left by these projects are a testament to the need for sustainable practices. Critics of the fast-track projects fear that history is repeating itself, with the government prioritising short-term economic gains over the long-term health of the environment and the well-being of future generations. They argue that the rush to develop could lead to mistakes that might be impossible to rectify. They argue that the lessons from the past should guide present-day decision-making, urging a more cautious and considered approach that balances economic aspirations with environmental protection. By learning from history, New Zealand can forge a path that ensures prosperity without compromising the natural world. Section 5. Weighing the Arguments. Expert Opinions on the Brink. The debate over New Zealand's fast-track projects has drawn in experts from various fields, each offering their perspectives on the complex interplay between economic development and environmental protection. Economists emphasise the importance of infrastructure investment for stimulating economic growth, creating jobs, and enhancing productivity. They argue that well-planned projects can deliver significant benefits to communities, particularly in terms of improved transportation networks, access to affordable housing, and enhanced energy security. Environmental scientists, on the other hand, 
caution against the potential ecological consequences of rapid and large-scale development. They point to the risks of habitat loss, fragmentation of wildlife corridors, and pollution of air, water, and soil. They emphasize the importance of preserving biodiversity, maintaining ecosystem services, and mitigating the impacts of climate change. The challenge for policymakers is to find a way to balance these competing perspectives, to reconcile the need for economic growth with the imperative to protect the environment for present and future generations.